beautiful sight. Welcome to Lilith Fair. You see, Sarah McLaughlin's concert series, Lilith Fair, was obviously a turning point for women in music. But seven years earlier, it's the Tommy Katie Lang arrived at her own personal turning point on the Tommy Hunter Show. We just recently completed the Canadian Country Music Awards here in Canada, and this young lady was voted the number one entertainer of the year by all of those fans. So KD began her career in the 1980s, quickly gaining a massive mainstream following who called her the cow punk princess. Oh, mercy. Mercy. Choosing country was a embrace of my upbringing, but also a rebellion. But it was many of those same fans who turned against her when she tested the boundaries of their loyalty. We were proud of the young lady at, at one time, and she's killed that pride. You know, I was young, holy mackerel. I, I think I was, uh, that was around my 30th birthday. It seems like I was a little anxious. I felt, it looked like I was a little anxious. I think country music was starting to work me. Um, I, I, you know, I never really wanted to have success in country music. I can tell that I'm pretty much done country music by then. Some people have labeled Katie Lang's music cowpunk, a cross between punk and country. But she says it isn't so. Only the haircut is punk. The heart is pure country. Country music back then thrilled me because it was co so confining, because the, the, the themes and the, the song structures, the, the harmonic structures, um, the mindset, everything was already in place. So to me, it, it was a perfect place to go explorer hybriding i loved being able to push the envelope a little bit choosing country was i guess in a way at once a embrace of my upbringing but also a rebellion I started to realize that I was a product of that genre in a certain way, but I felt like it made me rebellious and artistic and humorous, and so I felt like I could incorporate that into country music and, and the country style. And the winner is... K.D. Lang. <laughs> I promise that I will work harder next year than I have in the past two years. But most of all, I promise that I continue to sing for only the right reasons. Thank you very much. I love you. Country singing star K.D. Lang has a lot of people really riled down on the ranch. She's done a TV commercial for an animal rights group, and in it, she slams beef. 
They can hardly believe it in cattle country, and that includes her hometown in Alberta. Kevin Newman has the story. Consort Alberta is a hurting place these days. This cattle town where country music is king has lost faith in its well, hometown queen. Most of them I've talked to, they, they don't, don't listen to a station that's playing our records. The Meat Stinks campaign pretty much had made me public enemy number one. Meat stinks, and not just for the animals, but for human health and the environment. Stay tuned, because coming up next, we've got a song by a gal who, well, I guess she's been causing a little bit of controversy with some comments here lately, but... Country fans are turning KD off. It was easier to, to come out as a lesbian than it was to come out as a vegetarian. There were bomb threats at the record company. There was burning signs in my hometown. There was tractors and burning bales barricading uh, the entrance to the theaters where I was playing. She's like family. We loved her. We were so proud of her. We've got her name down below the hill. And now we're ashamed to have her name there. <laughs> Civility is a very thin layer. By this time, I was realizing that country music and the country mindset and the conservative mindset that you know all the culture that comes with country music wasn't fully representational to me so it was parallel to that it it made sense to me that i would go toward liberalism and vegetarianism and whatever genre of music and gay culture when you look at it, it was actually completely in sync. I really just felt like there was other music bubbling up in me. There, my influences had been firmly placed inside of me, and they were just screaming to get out, so... It was just time. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, here's Katie Lang. Thank I'm always uh, moving ahead. I, I try to be present, and when I'm singing, I'm present. But when I'm um, living and creating, I'm always, I don't know, somewhere way, way past where I am. That appearance on The Tommy Hunter Show marked the moment Katie Lang turned away from country music. 